Do you think that we are going to see some more substantive rate hikes coming through? Do you think that they can avoid having to hike anymore? Oh, look, Will, I think it's very, very likely that they'll have to raise rates further. The Governor today gave that sort of prominence to tight capacity utilisation and for what that, for, for that read, uh, tight labour markets. Uh, this overhang of job vacancies just doesn't seem to be going away. And while you've got, you know, such a high level of job vacancies, um, it's going to be very hard to bring down the unemployment rate to that level that the Reserve Bank now believes is necessary to be consistent with their inflation target, 4.5%. It's now 3.55%. It's going to be tough going, bringing that down because of this high level of labour market uh, uh, shortage, the high level of vacancies. So I think they're going to have to move again. Can I just ask you, because, you know, a lot of the, I suppose, on the ground concern from a lot of people is the fact that you have all of these mortgages that are rolling over from fixed to variable and the potential impact thereof. And I would imagine that that impact gets felt relatively quickly as opposed to the lag you see in monetary policy. Do you think that that... Or can you maybe, you know, gamify out the significance of all of this in terms of your expectations of that happening into the Australian economy, particularly consumption, I suppose? Oh, look, at, at consumption is going to be the weak part of the economy. We've already seen that. Uh, we're only expecting consumption growth this year of 0.5% uh, and a le less than that next year of only uh, of around the same 05 So that's incredibly weak. Uh, the the uh, unit labour, uh, real wages are falling. Uh, there's uh, The tax take is, is rising interest rates are going to continue to rise. And as you say, the, the switch from floating to fixed could be now from a 2% uh, floating uh, fixed rate mortgage, fixed from fixed to floating, 2% 2, 2 up to 6%. Uh, that's, going to, that's peaking in, this, in, the, in the next six months. So there's going to be terrible pressure on the household sector. But at the same time, uh, the, uh, the, the legacies of COVID have meant that there's still accumulated savings in certain parts of the household sector. Uh, and, of course, the other big legacy has been the imbalance between demand and supply of labour. So we continue to see these incredibly high job vacancies, meaning that wage pressures uh, are going to continue. And that's the key problem for the Reserve Bank, that inflation uh, is not mm. going to be slowing in the way that they would uh, like to have seen.